Hey guys, it's my 50th episode. And we hit 2,000 subscribers not too long ago. And um, so fast after we hit the big 1K. Seriously, thank you all from the bottom of my heart for your continued support and love. I never imagined we'd get this far, and I wouldn't still be here doing this if it wasn't for you guys. So, thanks. Anyway, we should probably do something special for that. And I think I have the perfect idea. Before we get started, let's go over what this video is going to be like. Each tier is going to have somewhere from 5 to 6 entries apiece. The higher the tier, the more obscure the thing is. I'll only be briefly summarizing each thing, as I've already made videos talking about some of this stuff. I will be linking all of my Haunted Mansion playlists in the description. Please see that if you want more details. The barometer of this iceberg is me. I am the one deciding who gets put where. If you got a problem with where I put stuff, make your own video. I'm not gonna stop you. Let's dig into the Haunted Mansion iceberg and see how deep it truly goes. The Haunted Mansion at Disneyland opened to the public in 1969. Located in the New Orleans Square section of the park, it centers around a tour of a haunted house, meeting the 999 ghosts that live inside of it. It continues to be one of the most popular rides in the park. The attraction has received upgrades and changes over the years, but the core thesis of the ride is still intact over 50 years later. The Haunted Mansion at Walt Disney World was an opening day attraction at the Magic Kingdom, opening in 1971 located in the Liberty Square section of the park. It was made to be very similar to the one in Disneyland, with some elements tweaked and made to be an overall improvement on the original ride. To this day, it continues to be one of the most popular rides in the park, and while it similarly has received many changes and upgrades over the years, it still keeps the core thesis intact. Grim Grinning Ghost is the theme song for the Haunted Mansion, with music by Buddy Baker and lyrics by Exitensio. The tune is played throughout the attraction, culminating in the graveyard, as all of the ghosts join together in song. It has been used in almost every Haunted Mansion production across the board, with arrangements ranging from cinematic, to creeping, to jazzy. The Haunted Mansion is a 2003 film released by Walt Disney Pictures, directed by Rob Minkoff, and starring Eddie Murphy. The plot centers on Jim Evers and his family finding themselves in a haunted house and their journey to get out. A goal that is complicated by his wife Sarah having a connection with the house's residents. The film was a critical flop and a commercial disappointment at the time, but has found a small fan base in the years since its release. Haunted Mansion Holiday is an annual overlay of the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland, which began in 2001. Every Halloween and Christmas season, characters from the film The Nightmare Before Christmas take over the mansion and deck the halls with boughs of holly, but in their own Halloween town kind of way. The overlay is immensely popular and has been continually used every year in the park since. Mickey's House of Villains is a 2002 direct-to-video film released by Walt Disney Entertainment. The film is a spin-off of the show House of Mouse and centered on the Disney villains taking over the club for Halloween night. During the number It's Our House Now, the villains released some of the happy haunts onto the club to scare the patrons. Among these characters included Madame Leota and the Hitchhiking Ghosts. The Haunted Mansion at Tokyo Disneyland opened with the rest of the park in 1983. It is an exact replica of the Magic Kingdom incarnation, with only little details that are different. Its most stark difference is that it has never received any upgrades. It is the exact same ride as it was when it opened 40 years ago. The mansion is located in Fantasyland due to the Japanese seeing ghosts and supernatural as more of a fantasy thing. That might be complete bullshit, but it's what I've always been told. Phantom Manor is an attraction at Disneyland Paris that opened with the rest of the park in 1992. Instead of being a direct copy of the American attractions, it took an entirely different approach, being much darker in tone. It features an entirely new backstory, connecting it with the rest of Frontierland in the park. The ride centers on the conflict between a grieving bride and a loving phantom that haunts its hallowed halls. It is still a popular ride in the park and received a refurbishment back in 2019. Hallowishes was a nighttime spectacular that played at the Magic Kingdom's Halloween events from 2008 through 2018. The show was hosted by the guest hosts where he and the rest of the happy haunts bring in the Halloween season. 
The show also featured notable Disney villains like Ursula, Jafar, Oogie Boogie, and Maleficent. Mickey's Boo to You Halloween Parade is a parade that has played at the Magic Kingdom's Halloween events since 2001. Since the beginning, the ride has prominently featured Haunted Mansion elements, like the ballroom dancers, the grave diggers, and the hitchhiking ghosts. As years have passed, other Haunted Mansion elements have been added, including additional floats and characters. Disneyland Fun is a tape in the Disney Sing Along Song series, released by Walt Disney Home Video in 1990. It's themed around a day at Disneyland, highlighting some of the most popular attractions in the park. The Haunted Mansion is prominently featured in a segment near the end, featuring the Disney villains and Donald Duck. It includes a new rendition of Grim Grinning Ghosts, sung by Thrill Ravenscroft. The tape would be reissued several times, being one of the few to be brought to DVD. The Hatbox Ghost was an animatronic that appeared at the Disneyland version on opening day, but was removed shortly after. Because of this, there was a lot of mystery and speculation about him. Who was he? Did he really exist? Why was he removed? The fandom around him continued to grow, and as time passed, he grew to be a very marketable and memorable character. The phenomenon culminated in 2015, with his official return to the Disneyland Mansion, where he continues to stand to this day. While much of the backstory surrounding the mansion is kept intentionally vague, some identities have become a part of the official canon. Madame Leota is the medium in the crystal ball. Constance Hatchway is the bride in the attic with five dead husbands. Pickwick is the guy hanging off of the chandelier in the ballroom. And so on and so forth. Through things like merchandise, ride details, and some spin-offs, you can learn more about the ghosts in the mansion. Though, much of it is still left up to fan interpretation. The story and song of the Haunted Mansion was an LP record printed by Disneyland Records in 1969, made to promote the Disneyland original. It centers on a pair of teenagers getting stuck in the mansion, where the only way out is to go through. It features the voice talents of Thor Ravenscroft, Ron Howard, Robbie Lester, and Pete Rende. The record was very popular, and it has been reissued several times over the years, through cassette tapes, CDs, and even digital media. The Museum of the Weird was an attraction designed by Imagineer Rolly Crump that was meant to parallel the Haunted Mansion. This was an exhibition of strange and unusual things from around the world, like a man made of candle wax and a devil grandfather clock. Internal politics at WED effectively cancelled it, but many of its ideas were incorporated into the mansion and can still be found there today. Memento Mori is a gift shop at the Magic Kingdom that specializes in haunted mansion merchandise. The shop was said to be owned by the mansion's resident medium, Madame Leota and thus, many oddities and events are said to take place there. It's located in Liberty Square, right down the street from the mansion, and is one of the more popular stores in the park. Lonesome Manor is a level in the 2010 Wii game Epic Mickey. It is the Wasteland's equivalent of the Haunted Mansion, based on an old storyline by Ken Anderson, which we'll be getting to later on. The mansion is home to the Lonesome Ghosts from the 1937 cartoon of the same name and Mickey must travel through to help save the Wasteland from the Shadow Plot. The house contains many references to the mansion and its many incarnations. House Ghost is an episode of the animated television series House of Mouse, originally airing on Toon Disney in 2003. Near the end of the episode, Pete unleashes the hitchhiking ghost onto the House of Mouse, where they perform a jaunty rendition of Grim Grinning Ghosts. Characters from the Haunted Mansion would make cameo appearances throughout the series, but this episode features them the most prominently. In 2010, writer and director Guillermo del Toro announced that he was going to be working on a new Haunted Mansion film. The story was supposed to be centered on the Hatbox Ghost and how he connected different mansions from around the world. The project sat in development hell for years until it was quietly cancelled sometime in the late 2010s. A new film project was announced in 2019, which, as of recording, will be written by Katie Dippold and directed by Justin Simeon. We'll see if it actually gets made. Mystic Manor is an attraction at Hong Kong Disneyland that originally opened in 2013. Due to cultural differences, Imagineering chose not to replicate the Haunted Mansion for Hong Kong, and instead made an entirely different experience, focused more on the mystical and fantasy. Guests journey through the home of Lord Henry Mystic, an explorer and antiquities collector, where all of his collectibles have suddenly come to life thanks to his mischievous monkey, Albert. 
The ride is one of the most advanced and impressive attractions ever made by Walt Disney Imagineering, and was one of the first attractions to introduce the Society of Explorers and Adventurers shared universe that exists at every Disney theme park around the world. Captain Gore was a central figure of an early draft of the Haunted Mansion written by Ken Anderson. The story centered on him and his wife, whom he murdered after she discovered his past as a bloodthirsty pirate. While never used in the mansion, many concepts were repurposed for it, like the seafaring characters and the many bride characters. Doombuggies.com is a website that was founded by Jeff Baum in 1997. It chronicles the histories of the attraction and other related media, being a fairly definitive source on all things Haunted Mansion. They have spoken to many people who worked on the mansion, collecting a very respectable amount of primary sources on the creation of the ride, and it's often the gateway for people to do more research on the mansion. I would know. The Haunted Mansion is a 2003 video game developed by High Voltage Studio and published by TDK Media Active. The plot centers on Zeke Holloway, a caretaker who has to save the mansion from the evil Atticus Thorn. The gameplay is very similar to something like Luigi's Mansion, where you explore different parts of the mansion and collect lost souls. It was released for the GameCube, Xbox, and PS2. Despite the release date, it did not connect with the movie. The Haunted Mansion is a seven-part comic series published by Slave Labor Graphics from 2006 through 2007. The comic story centers on the backstory of the mansion, telling the story of the many ghosts that live there. The stories were made by a team of writers, all connected into one cohesive story. For the most part. This was one of the first things that ever attempted to elaborate on the ride's backstory in a professionally published manner. Disney Kingdom's The Haunted Mansion is a five-part comic miniseries published by Marvel in 2015. The series told the story of Danny, a boy who traveled to the mansion to learn more about his grandparents. He is then wrapped up in a mission to save the mansion from an evil curse brought on about a malevolent pirate. This was the fourth book in the Disney Kingdom's banner, titles that were inspired by Disney Park attractions. The Haunted Mansion See, Hear, Read is an LP record published by Disneyland Records in 1970. Narrated by Robbie Lester, the record is a more simplified version of story and song, with more kid-friendly and stylized drawings. It has not had the same shelf life as story and song, and has never been reissued since its initial printing. Happy Haunting Party at Disneyland is a tape from the Disney sing-along series released by Walt Disney Home Video in 1998. Mickey and his friends are throwing a party at the Disneyland Mansion to celebrate the Halloween season, with lots of singing and dancing. A collection of spooky songs were included in the tape, including, yes, Grim Grinning Ghosts. A really weird rendition that changes lyrics and it's a lot slower than it usually goes, but the lower video for another day. The Ghost Gallery is a series of biographies written by Haunted Mansion cast members detailing the backstories of all the mansion's ghosts. This practice began in 1988, kept in a book backstage for any cast members to read. While it might just seem like glorified fanfiction, because it is, some of the names and backstories have been adopted by Disney in official projects. The stories are currently archived on DoomBuggies.com. Lonesome Manor was a story for the mansion created by Ken Anderson. The mansion was a tour hosted by the Lonesome Ghosts, visiting the wedding of Mademoiselle Vampire and Monsieur Boogeyman. It featured guest appearances from famous monsters like Dracula, Frankenstein, and the Headless Horseman. This draft was much more comedic in tone than some of Anderson's other drafts, and influenced themes like the Lonesome Manor level and Epic Mickey. Tales from the Haunted Mansion is a book series published by Disney Press. The stories are told by the mansion's librarian, Amicus Arcane, detailing spooky stories. Some are scary just to be scary, some tell the stories of ghosts who live in the mansion. The series currently stands at four books, with the most recent being published in 2019. The Living Knight was a ghost that haunted the corridor of doors at the Disneyland Mansion in the 80s and 90s. A scare actor dressed like a knight wandered the halls, popping out to scare guests. The character was short-lived in the 80s, but was brought back in the late 90s at Halloween events. Recently, he appeared again at the Disneyland Mansion in 2019, during the 50th anniversary celebrations. The Dreads are a family laid to rest in the queue in the Florida Mansion, consisting of five tombstones with busts on top of them. 
When analyzed carefully, guests can discover a plot for murder for the family fortune. The bus were added to the queue in 2011. In October of 2016, Disney XD aired a series of stop-motion shorts themed around the Haunted Mansion. The shorts starred Disney XD characters including Star Butterfly, Pickle and Peanut, Baymax, and Huey, Dewey, and Louie going through the Haunted Mansion and meeting some of the happy haunts. Seven shorts were produced in total. Bloodmere Manor was another concept dreamt up by Ken Anderson. This told the story of the Blood family, who befell a terrible curse the night of their daughter's wedding. The story further developed the bride character and helped inspire things like Phantom Manor. Jean Lafitte was a pirate captain who operated in Louisiana in the 1800s. Evidence suggests that he was meant to be a linchpin to connect the Disneyland mansion to Pirates of the Caribbean and Tom Sawyer Island. Had this idea came to be, he would have been the owner of the mansion. This theory was discovered by Dan Olson at Long Forgotten Haunted Mansion and was later popularized by YouTuber Offhand Disney. Disney Kingdom Seekers of the Weird was a five-part comic miniseries published by Marvel in 2014. Inspired by the Museum of the Weird, the plot centers on a pair of teenagers traveling through the museum to save their parents. It was the first series published under the Disney Kingdom's banner. The Ghost Relations Department is an organization that runs the Haunted Mansion. They are essentially the mansion's landlords, seeing which ghosts get to come into the mansion and stay there. It was first referenced in a sign posted outside of the Disneyland mansion before opening, and another reference to it can be found in the white hearse parked outside of the mansion today. The original sign was designed by Imagineer Marty Sklar. In 2018, the final season of Once Upon a Time would make use of the mansion's resident medium, Madame Leota. In this universe, she was a member of the Coven of Eight, a group of witches led by Mother Gothel. Gothel attempted to resurrect her, but it failed. Why was she in the show when she wasn't from a corresponding fairy tale? Hell if I know, this iceberg is long enough as is, and I don't feel like revisiting Once Upon a Time just yet. Chilling, Thrilling Sounds of the Haunted House was an LP record released by Disney Records in 1965. It was a collection of spooky sound effects and music put onto one disc. While not directly made to promote the mansion, many of the sounds on the record can be heard in the mansion today. And when it was reissued, the cover art was changed to a picture of the Disneyland mansion. The record was certified gold and reportedly sold over 5 million copies. Much theorizing has been done about the Haunted Mansion, about the true nature of the plot and story. One of the more popular ones goes as follows. You go through the mansion like normal until you get to the attic. Once you leave that scene, your doom buggy leans backwards as you descend down to the graveyard. According to this theory, you didn't climb down, you fell to your death. The ghosts in the graveyard are socializing because they've accepted you as one of their own. The caretaker is so scared because you're dead. I'll let you think of that theory what you will. The One-Eyed Black Cat was a character created by Exitensio meant to be an antagonist in the attraction. They were a malevolent spirit who detested mortals, out to get them at every turn. The character never made it to the finished ride, but has been added back in recent years, in the queue at the Florida Mansion and in the loading zone at the Disneyland Mansion. The Haunted Mansion Fright of Fancy is a comic published by IDW Comics in 2020. The story centers on Sydney, a new ghost moving into the mansion, and her goal of gaining acceptance through helping the mansion become better and scarier. The story takes a much lighter tone than the previous comics, not presenting any of the ghosts as particularly scary. Enter If You Dare, Scary Tales from the Haunted Mansion was a book published by Disney Press in 1995. Written by Nicholas Steffens and illustrated by Sergio Martinez, the book consists of short stories centered on the many residents of a haunted house near Sedgwick Park. While not directly mansion related, many of the stories were inspired by elements in the Haunted Mansion, like the steering portraits and the bride character. The Ghost Post was an interactive subscription box game made by Disney in 2016. It included many Haunted Mansion trinkets that could be interacted with via a smartphone app. When done so, the player would get messages from the ghosts in the Haunted Mansion telling them that something was going wrong. The game culminated in a scavenger hunt around Disneyland, where guests could interact with objects around the park and make magical things happen. 
The game consisted of three boxes available to 999 lucky mortals. Missing from the Mansion and Followed from the Mansion are a pair of short films made by John and Jeremiah Dawes, released onto YouTube in 2012 and 2013 respectively. Missing from the Mansion tells the story of three friends who went missing at Disneyland, showing their final moments in a found footage format. They find themselves in the Haunted Mansion as mysterious happenings begin to take place during their journey. Followed from the Mansion is about a family who just returned from Disneyland, and their son being concerned that a ghost followed him home. This features an appearance from the traveling hitchhiking ghost, voiced by Jesse Cordy. Films have collectively gotten over 800,000 views. The Legend of Gracie Manor was a short story published to DoomBuggies.com to coincide with the release of the 2003 film. It detailed the backstory of the mansion in the film, telling the story of how it came to be and the history of the Gracie family that lived in it. The story made use of many Haunted Mansion story elements, like connections to Pirates of the Caribbean, and forgotten names for characters. And hardly any of it is hinted in the actual movie. The Haunted Mansion Haunted Happenings was a coloring book published by Golden Books in 1999. The story centered on Mickey and his friends, tasked to clean the Haunted Mansion and their frantic escape out of it. The book is one of the rarest pieces of Haunted Mansion literature out there, and copies can go for at least $50 on the secondhand market. In 2003, Disney Channel aired a series of Halloween promos to coincide with the upcoming film release. They were simple Halloween crafts for kids, with a tutorial given in about a minute. The promos were narrated by a ghost named Hetty, voiced by Tony J. Three shorts were produced in total. Spooky Tennis was a short story published in Walt Disney Comic Digest in 1969. Goofy's house is being haunted by a small family of ghosts, then Mickey offers to help out. Because, wouldn't you know it, there's a place at Disneyland that's perfect for them. Nuptial Dune is an audio story narrated by Cat Cressida and created for DoomBuggies.com. The story concerns a sea captain and a bride, a story that goes all the way back to Ken Anderson's drafts. The story is available to listen to for free on Doom Buggy's website. Believe it or not, actual ghost sightings have been reported at the haunted mansions all over the world. Magic Kingdom cast members have heard the story of a man with a cane, which goes as follows. Ride operators in the loading zone will see a man with a cane sitting in a Doom Buggy coming from the unloading zone. This is typically done for people who need to move from a wheelchair. However, when they ask the cast members in the unload zone about it, they'll say they didn't send anyone through. The Disneyland cast members have reported sightings of a child near the exit ramp. According to legend, a woman spread her son's ashes in the haunted mansion. Ever since, cast members have reported seeing a boy crying near the ride's exit. And when they try to help, no one will be there. Ooh, spooky. Side note, please don't dump ashes in Disney rides. They have to shut the whole ride down to clean it up. It's a huge pain in the ass for the underpaid and overworked staff. You'll probably get kicked out of the park for it. It's just not worth it. Just don't do it. Well, looks like we have only one level left. The most obscure things of all. Let's get into it. Cookie Creeps was a one-shot comic published in Disney Adventures magazine in 2004. The story centered on a pair of kids who ended up at Gracie Manor to sell cookies. There, they meet many of the mansion's inhabitants. The comic was made to promote the 2003 film. Another comic would be published in a later issue of Disney Adventures, but I don't have that one so I can't talk about it in this video. One Scary Night is a comic from the Epic Mickey Tales from the Wasteland series, published in 2010. Set in the Epic Mickey universe, Oswald, Robo Goofy, and Robo Donald are sent into Lonesome Manor after a bet with Pete. When they discover it's still inhabited, they have to find a way out before the ghosts get them. The comic was published in Italy and Brazil, but has never been localized in English. Gracie is a character from the Disney Attractionistas doll line that ran from 2014 through 2016. She was a personification of the mansion, dressed in spooky, trendy attire, with a pet bat named Grimm. She exists. Spooky Boo was a parade at Tokyo Disneyland that ran in 2018 and 2019 during the Halloween season. The parade scored primarily featured grim grinning ghosts, and there were many Haunted Mansion elements present throughout the floats. Perhaps most notably, there was a dancer dressed like a bride. 
I gotta get started on that follow-up video. And finally, the man in the spider web was a figure rumored to have haunted the Florida mansion. No evidence of him exists, outside of conjecture from cast members. The figure was supposedly a skeleton wrapped in a spider's web, located in the old grand staircase scene that screamed as guests rode by. According to legend, he was removed for being too scary. However, they didn't completely remove him. He said to be hidden away in a dark corner to scare unsuspecting cast members. While concept art of this figure exists, there is no proof of him making it to the ride, leaving this mystery unsolved. Woo! That concludes the video! That took way longer than I expected, so I hope you all enjoyed it. What level did your knowledge stop at? Were there any depths in the iceberg that I missed? And that's a genuine question. If you know more than I do, please, please tell me. I want to learn about it. Would you like to see any other topics covered in this format next? If so, let me know down in the comments below. If you want to support the show, please consider hitting up my Patreon or my Ko-fi page. If not, then just like, comment, and subscribe to see more. But, that's all the time we've got for today. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Thank you.